Because three very important news stories for you. Firstly, Ethiopian government has issued a statement of foreign ministry. Uh, just a few hours ago issued a statement. Ethiopian government says that CNN intends to misinform people and CNN wants to share a cooked up story about alleged genocide in Tigray. Secondly, some Karayo Romo elders have been killed in East Shiva zone of Romia region. Romo Liberation Army and some Romo activists have confirmed the killing of uh, several Karayo elders. Around 23 have been killed there and among them some are Karayo elders. Why were they killed? And thirdly, viewers, we have some numbers for you. Turkey and the UAE both are exporting weapons to Ethiopian government. Uh, we shared some information with you regarding uh, uh, flights, cargo flights between the UAE and Ethiopia, Turkey and Ethiopia. Al Jazeera also did a story on uh, air bridge between the UAE and Ethiopia. Now we have some figures for you from Turkey. How much weaponry did Turkey uh, send to Ethiopia within the past four months? We have some numbers for you. Uh, from August till November, how much weaponry did Turkey provide uh, uh, to Ethiopia? I'll share the numbers with you. Firstly, words, uh, Ethiopian Foreign Ministry a few hours ago issued a statement. Ethiopian Foreign Ministry says that CNN intends to do a fake a uh, story, a new story, a report about genocide in Tigray. In Tigray means Western Tigray, I think. Uh, Ethiopian government says that uh, in August, CNN made a similar attempt when it tried to prove that uh, Tigrayans were, were being killed and their dead bodies were being thrown into Takazi River. And back then, uh, Samantha Power was visiting Sudan. So during her, her visit, CNN tried to stage this uh, fake genocide uh, campaign. CNN shared this story as a breaking news, as an investigative report. But this report was totally false. Now CNN is working on another such news story. We don't know about uh, the likely news story by the CNN. Uh, Ethiopian government says that so far no international body has used the word genocide about the atrocities or whatever uh, abuses happened in Tigray. It says that uh, Ethiopian Human Rights Commission, UN Human Rights Body, in the joint investigations did not use the word genocide. So how can CNN say the genocide was committed in Tigray? Let's see, let's wait for CNN's news story, then we'll discuss the news story. Uh, it seems that Ethiopian government has issued a preemptive statement. It knows that something big is coming. Uh, secondly, viewers, uh, some Karayo elders, Karayo is an uh, Oromo clan, viewers, and some of its elders have been killed in a place to the east of Addis Ababa in a zone called East Shiva zone. And here some elders and youth have been killed. Uh, Oromo Liberation Army, Oromo activist, and some neutral uh, sources, they are also confirming that Karayo elders have been killed in East Shiva zone of Oromia region. Among them, uh, Jelo Dido is one of their elders. He was uh, Abba Gada of the area. He was uh, elder of the area. He has been killed too. Now, uh, OLA supporters say 
uh, that uh, Ethiopian government was trying to recruit Karayo elders to fight uh, Roman Liberation Army and their youth. Uh, Ethiopian government was trying to convince uh, local elders that, that Karayo youth should join government forces to fight OLA. But Karayo elders refused uh, to be part of this fighting. That is why they were arrested and they have been killed. We don't know uh, 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 the circumstances of their killing. Their killing is being confirmed. Ethiopian government has not issued any official statement so far. We do know that uh, Roma Liberation Army has been trying to gain ground in East Shiva zone. I think we discussed that in previous video. So overall situation is not clear. Their death is being confirmed. It's now up to Ethiopian government, uh, Roma regional government to inform the people what happened in East Shiva zone. And secondly, an other attack, drone attack uh, has been conducted in Valaga. I told you about previous attacks on Valaga along the Kamte Finote Salam road. And the drone strike is being reported uh, in Lalo Asabi areas. Who the target, uh, we don't know exactly, but most sources are saying, saying that drone strike did happen there. Lastly, words, last and the most important news story is about Turkish defense exports to Ethiopia. A Turkish journalist has shared some numbers about uh, uh, how much weaponry Turkey has exported to Ethiopia in the last four months. The journalist says that in August, Turkey supplied Ethiopia with weaponry worth 51.7 million US dollars. In September, weaponry worth 1 million US dollars. In October, 10.7 million US dollars. In November, 31.1 million US dollars. So, from August till November, Turkey has exported weapons to Ethiopia worth 94.5 million US dollars. And this weaponry includes, according to the Turkish journalist, this weaponry includes drones, armored vehicles, uh, ammunition and artillery pieces. So not only is the UAE backing Ethiopian government militarily, but Turkey is also backing Ethiopian government militarily. Interestingly, we have seen two statements from Turkey about Turkey's offer to mediate between TPLF and Ethiopian government. So on one hand, Turkey is offering to mediate. On the other hand, it is arming Ethiopian government as well with drones, with uh, artillery pieces, with ammunition. Both the UAE and Turkey, they are militarily backing Ethiopian government. We have seen uh, reports of dozens of cargo flights between the UAE and, uh, 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 and Ethiopian Air Force Base in Romia. And all these cargo flights uh, were not uh, registered in the records of Ethiopian civil aviation. That is why questions were raised. Al Jazeera confirmed, uh, I think three days ago, that uh, UAE was flying Ethiopia with weapons. We have been reporting that uh, for the last uh, two, three months, I think, that uh, both countries, they are involved in backing Ethiopia militarily. And at the same time, they are offering to mediate, as well, especially Turkey. So, now, question viewers is, is this new weaponry uh, one of the reasons behind the withdrawal of Tigray Defense Force from some key places in Amhara and Afar regions, where it has suffered losses to, especially in Afar? Well, I'm working on that. In the next video, we'll try to have a detailed look at the reason of the withdrawal of Tigray Defense Force. Why is TDF withdrawing from Mahara region? Uh, is it due to this newly purchased weaponry? Has some deal been stuck between Ethiopian government and DPLF? In the next video, I'll try to have a detailed look 
at the cause of TDF's withdrawal from some key places in Amhara region. I think so much.